friends and resellers, it's Trish with Wellsourced coming at you with another Goodwill Outlet Bins haul. So the last series I did break into four parts from that haul, just really it was a selfish reason so that when I was on vacation, I could still continue to have content posted. And I did come back from vacation last week, went straight to the bins basically two days after getting home so that I could come with some new content to bring to you. Quick story is that in 2018, my husband and I went to Ireland on a vacation for our anniversary that year, and I knew that my mom had to see Ireland. She is a full-blooded Irish woman. DNA-wise, probably not 100%, but as pretty close as you can come. Her grandparents came from Ireland and homesteaded in the western Montana, north Idaho area, and therefore I'm like 43% Irish with a little bit of Scottish mixed in there from her side of the family. So anyway, in 2019, I had done a half marathon in Washington, D.C., and my folks have been great supporters of that. They came to um, from Idaho to see me participate in that race. And when they said, "What? where are you going next for your next half marathon? I said, Dublin. And kind of without batting an eye, they said, okay, which I was kind of really shocked about, but knowing full well I was not planning on doing another half marathon at that time. Um, but I did talk them into going to Ireland and we had tickets booked for the third week of March in 2020. So we um, were just days away from leaving for our vacation and the world shut down. Three years later, here we are, my mom, dad, my husband and I went back to Ireland Got to take my folks there, tour around the entire country, and spent 10 days just enjoying the sights. And it is, if you see pictures of it, it looks green. It's so much more green in person. It's a beautiful country, beautiful people. It makes you want to cry. It's just a great place. So um, I'll have popped up a few pictures along the way here so you can see what we saw. We had amazing weather and I came back. I'm refreshed, ready to go. But it was a trip of a lifetime for my folks. They don't like to leave home very often, let alone out of the country. So I was really glad that I could be a part of that with them. I am an only child, and so I have sort of a different relationship with my parents than kids who maybe aren't an only child. But anyway, enough about that story. But that's where I have been the last couple weeks. You would not have known that because I've had content posted. But I'm back and ready to go. So on Tuesday, today's Thursday, on Tuesday, I went to the bins. Tuesday's not a day I normally go to the bins, but I was, you know, raring to go, wanted to get down there. This day I picked up uh, 79 pounds the first trip through and like 30 something maybe the second time through. I will put the total amount of pounds that I secured this day at the Goodwill Outlet bins in Nashville, Tennessee, where I pay $1.49 a pound. Funny thing was that I showed up at like five minutes to nine, which is when this location opens, and there was no one out front. And I was like, where is everybody? Um, and it is now open at eight. So it was kind of quiet in there. It just had happened last week. So I don't know if a lot of people knew that. So I walked in and a couple minutes before nine, and then it kind of got busier a little later on. So it was kind of a good day to go. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get started. This is a Chico's piece. It is Chico size three, which is an extra large. They are putting their size on here now. It says 16, 18, but it's an XL. This is like a army green color jacket. It's like a faded army green. And it's got some different texture on it. It's a full zip, which of course I have not. I just pulled this off the drying rack. <laughs> uh, but it does zip up the front and it is a nice jacket uh, that is a great piece for spring. It is a cotton lyosol, ly lyosol, lyosol, lyosol spandex blend. So it has a little bit of stretch in it and it's a great lightweight jacket to transition. Uh, it wouldn't be a day at the bends if I didn't find Chico's, right? We are getting ready to have some thunderstorms today. So the sun just disappeared, it got a little dark in here. So I did pop on some extra lights. I did not bring down a light to shoot this. I thought I would have good light, but I didn't. So next up is a, this is for me. <laughs> this is just a uh, gap. It is a, the boy, the fitted boyfriend shirt. It's just a cotton button down shirt with kind of an abstract floral print on it. Um, I just thought it would be a good piece for me. 
going into the upcoming season. Here's another Chico's piece. This is Chico's size extra large, which is a three in their sizing. This is a, let's see if I can show it here. Just an open cardigan. It does have like a lace up detail on the sleeve. And it's just a neutral color with some like blues, tans, and creams. There were a few little um, places where something's gotten hooked. I just need to go through with my crochet hook and pull it from the other side. But I'm always happy to find Chico's, especially in a large or size like extra large or above. This is a cotton uh, rayon nylon blend, but a nicer kind of mid-weight sweater for would be good for spring and even summer. This is not something I would consider a summer piece, but it was cute. It's Chico's, it's an older piece by them. It's a, just a rayon cotton blend. It's a one size um, and it is a kind of cape drapey kimono shawl jobber. It's black with this silver and gray abstract print on this. I thought this would be a fun, piece for the holidays. It did have a few loose threads on it that I do need to address just to trim, but it was in good condition. I have said it in other videos, but I am happy to pick up sweaters all year long. This is the time to be picking up sweaters, apparently, because you know they might not be taking them at that Goodwill um, that someone donates to, and then it goes on to the Goodwill outlet. So I just sold a, it was new, um, a new J. Crew sweater. It was super cute and it sold for I think $32. It was newest tags from a couple seasons ago to someone in uh, Las Vegas, which is not the coolest place in the world in the summer. So things are still selling as we go along. All right, next up is the brand Love Stitch, which is like Nordstrom um, rack, is where I've seen it before, maybe. This says it's a size large. I did wash it according to the directions, but it is more of a cropped fitted top that kind of hits right at your hips. It has a fun print to it and it's a real lightweight gauzy fabric. It does cross over in the front and drapes a little bit um, at the waistline. So it's got just a touch of a bell sleeve and that brand does all right for me. It tends to get a lot of, um, likes and things like that in my closet. So uh, whether it sells quickly is another story. All right, this is the brand Violet Sky. I don't know anything about this brand, but I grabbed it because it this is a size small. It's just a beach cover up, like a short caftan sort of look to it. A real boxy fit with this botanical print on it. It's semi sheer boxy sleeve. So this would just be really cute over your swimsuit and we are in that season. This is something that's not seasonally appropriate. This is the brand Christopher and Banks, which I have picked up a couple items um, from their CJ Banks line, which is their plus size line. And I did get a dress that was like, just a really cute dress that had something to do with more of a style. It was cotton rather than the brand. And it has actually had some interest. So, but this is Christopher uh, and Banks size large. This retailed for $59.99. This is an extremely soft, just acrylic leopard print cardigan. And it's just an open cardigan. It is so soft, so soft. And I just, animal print stuff tends to do well. That feels like a nice quality piece and it was new with tags. So I was going to go ahead and grab that. This is Lucky Brand. It's the, suitable for framing tag, which I've seen on some of like their bags and handbags. I don't really know what that, like, what that means exactly. Just it's a work of art, I guess. This is a medium large and it's a wool acrylic blend. It is a long line duster cardigan with a hood. And it has, it's kind of hard to show the print on there. It's just kind of a subtle print that goes through. And then it has some, um, knit details on the front there, which is kind of hard to describe, but lucky brand I don't always pick up, but I felt like that was a nice substantial piece. I was happy to grab it. 
Okay, this is H&M. It's a US size 12. This is just a navy open, well, it's one button, one button blazer. And I just thought this was a nice piece for kind of spring that someone could pair uh, with that kind of either academia aesthetic or just being dressed it up kind of maybe nautical or wear it with some khaki and a nice white shirt underneath. Things I would never wear because I would get white dirty, khaki dirty, and I'm a, a shorts and t-shirt kind of girl, <laughs> but definitely not white things. This is the brand, let's see, Hydraulic Denim. I don't, I've never even picked up this brand before. I did just grab it. They're size four. They don't have the best resale on them, but they have these blingy bottoms. They are a straight leg and I just thought with like rodeo season coming up, I could use those keywords. I kind of think that has that aesthetic going on, like miss me jeans, that sort of thing. All right, this is a American Eagles, Eagle Outfitters extra, extra small dress. This is an older piece because it has the American Eagle Outfitters name on it, but it's a perfect, the full spell out. It's a, from 2015 but it is sort of a peasant top dress with these elastic cuff sleeves. And it's just a mini dress with the little tassels here. So this is a great summer boho festival beach look to it. And that size, although super small, there are people who are super extra, extra smalls that need dresses too. So I don't like to pick up a ton of items, but I really liked that style. All right, this was put back in the shoe bin. I wasn't, I've never found this brand before, but I've heard other people talk about it. It's Deal of Norway. It's a size large. And the way this buttons, it looks like a men's sweater. This has three tiny little holes in it that I will be able to just stitch shut from behind and you won't be able to notice. Um, two of them are down here. And there's one and two in the uh, banding at the bottom. I'll easily be able to repair that. And there was one in the little hole in the armpit that will be easily repaired. But the comps on these are just all over the place. But I am a sucker for a sweater. I just got back from Ireland, right? So I was in sweater heaven with all the wool and blankets and everything imaginable. My mom bought me a beautiful sweater while we were there as sort of a souvenir that I can you know, wear forever. Last time my husband and I were there, we bought several blankets like that will last a lifetime. So this kind of stuff, I just can't help but pick up. So this is a superior Norwegian craftsmanship and it's just a 100% new wool. So I did grab that. As always, you will have seen me putting up comps along the way so that you know kind of what I'm expecting to get for an item. I will list a little higher than that to allow room for me sending out deals. But so this was at, actually has a Goodwill tag on it still. Um, it was at Goodwill last month in March. They wanted $8 for this, but it's LuLaRoe, which don't laugh, but I do not always pick LuLaRoe up. I do in plus sizes and have done well with some of the dresses that are pretty casual. This is just a really cute polka dot. It's real textured, like a Swiss dot. Um, long line duster open with some front pockets. And it was in good condition. And so I will be able to list that. But it's not the typical LuLaRoe leggings or that thing, you know, whatever feels, that LuLaRoe feel that you can just tell. Okay. I knew this was damaged when I grabbed it in the bin. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I feel like it's just a cool piece that I feel like could be upcycled by somebody, but it's Gianni Versace, uh, the Multiply line or Multiply. It's 100% wool made in Hong Kong. It's size 12. This is a vintage pair of trousers, as we can see by the size 12 waistline that is about like a four right now. But uh, see how it crosses over and has that asymmetrical fly to it. I don't know. I just thought that was really a cute piece and I wanted to bring it home. And it's pleated in the front. Now, here's the problem. It has moth holes kind of all over the bottom of it. 
Could I fix this? Sure. But could I sell it as is and someone make like an awesome pair of shorts out of it? This would be a really cute pair of like wool shorts or something. I don't know. Do I find Versace often vintage? No. Do I think that I can still sell those even flawed? I hope so because I think someone can upcycle them into something kind of fun. All right, this day I went through and found a bunch of Torrid in one bin that people didn't seem to want. They were rotating bins pretty quickly, so sometimes people, you know, go through and then they move on to the next bin. So I usually come in after and go through the stuff that hasn't been tossed around. But this is Torrid. I'm assuming this is a 2 or a 3X because everything else that I picked up this day was. It is missing the size. But this is a pretty floral kind of ruffle sleeve dress in a, I'm going to say this is a midi to maxi length has a tie waist, a real full skirt with lots of movement to it. Um, it has a smocked back. So I will just take measurements compared to the same style of other people having listed and see if I can't just get the listing um, to be pretty accurate with the measurements from there. Okay, I'm struggling with the light today. Sorry about that. And I did just clean off my camera. So if the first 20 minutes of this were a little blurry, I apologize. All right, next up is another Torrid piece. This is size three Torrid, and this is missing the belt. I knew that when I brought it home, but I didn't think it detracted from it. It's a jumpsuit, a wide leg jumpsuit. It's got a sleeveless design and about a surplus neckline, and then it goes out into a wide leg um, jumpsuit. I don't think that the belt missing detracts from that piece. So I went ahead and grabbed it. This is a vintage men's jacket. Eh, you win some, you lose some. Sometimes I just think of the things that I like to grab, but this is 100% um, camel hair made in the USA. And it is a men's single breasted jacket with these wooden buttons. And the brand is Hunt Valley Gentleman's Clothing tailored in the USA. It is a size, where did the size go? 40 regular. And it has a little bit of like a coffee stain up here. I'm just gonna wash it out with a little bit of water and a rag. And then I do have an at home wool light dry cleaning kit that seems to work pretty well. So. That, I, you know, I just feel like it's kind of got a classic look to it. It was in good condition, and I don't find camel hair items that often. Um, I've said it in other videos that anything made of a natural fiber, I like uh, animal product, I do kind of like to save from the bins rather than going off to a landfill. Okay, this is the brand Soft Surroundings, size large. This is a really soft, cozy oversized cardigan and it kind of looks like there's a spot right there but sometimes with the space dye kind of fabric it's hard to tell that does sort of look like it might have a few spots on it I will have to get under my light and it's just an open cardigan with a real drapey neck to it and a longer line so I did go ahead and grab that. I like picking up soft surroundings. It's just a round poly blend, so, but super soft. I do like picking up accessories and the accessories I have, this one was just in here by happenstance, but I do have like a bunch of shoes and bags and accessories I picked up this day that'll be in the second part of this haul next week. This is just a really pretty vibrant kind of watercolor floral scarf i don't think it's anything famous um, or fancy it's just vince camuto it's not it doesn't feel like silk it feels just like a polyester but it's very pretty and i will either list that um or i may just pop it in as a thank you gift i mean i know people don't like just getting crap thank you gifts but if i was able to wrap up some item with that that would be something I would have to be happy to do, or I may list it. I do like listing scarves because they're easy to list. All right, this is a bikini top. I didn't pick up as much uh, bathing suit items this day, but this is the brand 
Smart and Sexy Swim. It's a 40D and it is a polka dotty, abstract polka dot, a kind of twist front underwire top with a halter neckline. It would be helpful if I had all this stuff dealt with, right? In true Trish fashion, that would just be asking way too much. Um, this is just ties here at the neckline. And it goes up like that. There we go. It's super cute. Um, it has light padding in it. And the straps are removable, so this can be worn as a strapless bra or strapless uh, bikini top. And was glad to pick that up. Okay. This I picked up, eh, I didn't notice this that has a spa on it when I grabbed it. The lighting in the bins is not great. The brand is Dear Cleo. This is a size two. It looks like they make bridesmaids dresses. I just really liked this color. It is a kind of terracotta color and you will probably be able to see the spot. Meh. Oh, maybe not. Anyway, it has a spot somewhere down there. Um, I just thought it was a pretty piece and the comps weren't horrible for it. So we'll see if I can't get that spot out. If not, um, I'll just re-donate it because this is a totally perfectly wearable piece. And I do list flawed items. All right, this is the brand Pole, which has kind of, the, I don't know, some interesting items. But this is a, a cold shoulder short or long sleeve sort of washed sweatshirt with these studded bead kind of details around the sleeve area or the shoulder. It's kind of got like an edgier look to it. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed that. This is the brand Gimmicks by BKE from Buckle. It is a size, I think small, medium, 100% um, cotton. I grabbed it just because I like the top. It's got a lot of details, some embroidery, some lace, short half sleeves that are a wider sleeve, bit of a cropped length, a real textured bottom on it, and just a kind of a fun piece for the upcoming season. <clears throat> Do you ever pick up things in the bins and then you get home and you don't have them and you wonder where they went or why you don't have them? <laughs> I grabbed this and I swear I picked up another one, but maybe I did see a flaw on it or something and I opted not to get it. Um, or my cart was like overflowing. So it's very possible that uh, something fell out of my cart along the way because I did pick up this vintage Gap hat that gave me a total Blossom vibes. Um, and I found it again in the shoe bin and I know I had it. So it must've fallen out of my cart anyway. This is a Pete Torrid piece. It's a size three. It's new with tags. It retailed for $55. And it is a impossible to show. It's a skirt all. So like a skirt, but with overall straps to it. And <laughs> I'm just not going to be able to do it. But it's this really cute, like mauve sort of color and buttons down the front, and then it goes up into this adjustable short, short tall kind of look to it, but it's a skirt tall. And I just thought that was a fun pickup. Officially new with tags. This is a brand called J G, Joe G, J G. I looked it up, I can't remember what it is. And I feel like I've picked this up maybe once before. This is a size 3X. I feel like that is maybe true. It does have quite a bit of stretch to it. I just really like this orange and gray floral toned boho sort of peasant dress, lightweight. I think it's rayon and just a really cute dress for upcoming seasons. I think that has multi-season wear to it. This is the brand International Concepts, INC, and this is an 18W. It is a uh, one, oh no, Lyocell cotton blend shirt dress that I just thought was adorable. And it's a chambray shirt dress with tab sleeves. 
it has a belt that goes with it and it has a smocked back here so it does help kind of give it some shape it also provides some stretch and i just think that this is it has some western aesthetic to it just vacation casual toss it on when it's maybe a little cooler you can roll those tab sleeves up if it gets warm and so i did go ahead and grab that this is j crew mercantile um which is like their outlet line and it is a bodysuit i'm gonna snap it shut here it's a pink sort of magenta colored pink velour velvet bodysuit long sleeve size small i this is adorable i just couldn't leave that behind and um so i brought it home all right this is hilarious this is the brand tropical it's a vintage po cotton poly shirt a size large and it is a men's zip front green and white striped shirt. If you watch Stranger Things, um, Ted Wheeler, the dad of Mike Wheeler, this is what I picture him wearing in a scene or something. I don't know why, but that is what I'm picturing. So I guess like the 80s look to it. Total summer. I can picture some young man wearing this with like, some cut off jeans and some Converse or something. I don't know. I'm not a huge um, trend setter, but that's kind of just what I'm picturing. I don't pick up Nike a ton, but if it's a nice piece, I'll grab it. And this has dust on it from my hand. I had uh, some like lotion on my hands, chalky kind of lotion, and I got it on three of the black items I wore or washed and didn't notice I had it on this one, but this is Nike. It's a Thermafit size large men's sweatshirt, and it is a um, black on black, so it's got the black embroidered swoosh there, and it was in good condition. Uh, it has a kangaroo pocket in the front, and let's see if I can see when this is from. It's an older piece, it's from 2015, but I think it's a classic piece. This fabric and Under Armour, like in the similar things, always get those little picks to it. If you've noticed it, they just have this little like holes to the fabric. Okay, these are a pair of Columbia um, women's size large pants. I have a feeling these are vintage maybe, but Maybe not. They are a lightweight. You could wear, the, they're like a lightweight ski pant with the elastic cuffs, but an outdoor pant. So I would wear a pair of pants just like this to go snowshoeing because you get hot. Snowshoeing is a lot of work. Um, and if you're snowshoeing, these are nice because it gives you movement and you're still waterproof but you're not wearing like a full on pair of snow pants where you're like dying of heat exhaustion by the end of the day. So I grabbed those. This is a pair of American Eagle jeans. They're the original boot in a size double zero. And they're from 2012, but they're a boot cut jean. And again, I was thinking about rodeo season coming up. These are super tiny, but um, I shouldn't say that because I don't pick up a plus size item and say this is super huge. So those are very small size, and I think that someone will uh, enjoy those for the rodeo season, even though they're an older piece. All right, this is the brand Vigos or Vigos jeans. They're a size 20. These were in very nice condition, and I have maybe sold this brand just a couple of times. It's not necessarily going to resell for a ton, but because this was a plus size and it has these fun kind of detailed back pockets and I just thought they would be um, a good pair to pick up. And it had very light signs of wear. I would call these 
All right, next up, I saw this in the bin. I thought that looks like Harry Potter and I bet it's a torrid piece. So it's torrid denim, it's a size 20. It's a Harry Potter collab. So it's got all the Harry Potter lightning bolts all over it. They are like a three quarter, well, like a cropped jean. When I brought them home, I noticed, I looked at the crotch when I was there, but I didn't look at the seat as well. And it does have some puckering and some wear. It's a lot thinner through there. I'm, I don't know. I may not list these or I may just list them for super cheap because I still think they're a super cute piece that someone could wear, you know, like a longer top with and be just fine. All right. This is a cheetah leopard cheetah print robe. It's a size medium large by Betsy Johnson. Betsy Johnson has its following. Like some of the stuff might take a minute to sell, but some of it sells quickly. So it's hit or miss, I guess, but a cozy, cuddly animal print robe, uh, a short robe, and it's got a hood. Like you, this has a lot of things going for it. So for me, it didn't matter that it was Betsy Johnson. That wasn't the only thing it had going for it. It had multiple um, attributes that I thought were sellable. Okay. I am probably never going to find a kugi sweater because it is, uh, I'm not one of those people who's diving in the bins when it first comes out. So I would have to find it in the very bottom of a bin. This was out of a bin. It's a 4XL. It's just a t-shirt. It's a brown long sleeve tee. And it's got the typical um, kugi kind of designed, embroidered on the front. And some people say kugi, but I looked it up a long time ago because it's an Australian brand and it, it's Kugi. Uh, but well, as far as I remember, but I think um, this is still, you know, gonna resell all right. This was in a bin where everything was wet. Luckily we had just had rain here in Tennessee, so I wasn't horribly concerned about why it was wet, but I just kept it away from all the other things in my um, bag until I got home. All right, this is the brand Victoria Garcia. This pair of pajama bottoms is a size medium. And these were sold at Anthropology as a set, but I like them. They have hummingbirds on them and like botanical print in this orange color. I, they're coming across much better nicer and brighter on camera they have wash wear i'm still gonna list them just because i think that they're a cute soft already worn in pajama set when my grandma died we had a um this is like in 1990 uh garage sale and with all the sheets things you know sheets from the 70s and 80s and this woman came and she said i will take them all i love worn in sheets She's right, because they do feel a lot better. Um, I do like a high thread count, but I do like worn in sheets that feel soft and like they've been around. All right, this is Free People made in the USA. So I'm concerned I don't know this tag. Maybe it's an older one. And then it says medium, large, medium, grande. I don't know what that means either. This has, I looked it over for stains, but it has, after I washed it, it did show a few um, little holes in the armpits. This is a weird top. <laughs> It is super wide and it's even hard to describe what is going on here. And then it's like a cocoon sort of, but it has this short sleeve. I don't know, I'll look up comps for it. Maybe it'll be worth sewing them shut. The holes were like in the pit area, but I saw the tag and it was, I think it maybe it must be an older one because it says made in the USA. I don't think their other stuff's made in the USA. So, all right, this is Life is Good, which I just love. I always have such a fun little saying on it this is a women's size large a relaxed fit this is more of a boxy cropped sweatshirt in a tan color it says take it slow life is good and it has this fun multicolored sort of sunset going on with someone on a kayak so um i do love kayaking when i'm home to idaho and we, my, one of my girlfriends, who's my sister-in-law as well, she and I love to go kayaking and we've done lots of lake trips. So that is applicable to our lives.
and somebody else will find joy in that as well. All right, I found the top to this, and so I started looking for the bottoms. This is Nick and Nora. There must be some weird cult following for this brand, but um, I've heard other people talk about picking it up. So this was in really nice condition. It is a size small women's pajama set. It's a sock monkey. It's got the instructions for making a sock monkey on it. So it's the pajama top and the pajama bottoms that are a long, full length, sort of wide leg pajama set. All right. This is the brand Hannah Anderson. This is a 110. I will have to look on their chart what that equates to, but it's just a little kid's jacket and this fun sort of lime green and blue color blocking. It's just a puffer coat with um, a hood. It's fun orange lining. It has the knit cuffs inside of the sleeve, which I just love because it makes it so much more cozy. And this is a down filled jacket. So. I washed it, came out great. I am thinking that will do well at some point down the road. This, I'm a sucker. This was on a hanger in a bin that was about ready to get wheeled away. And it had, I think someone won a $5 at their yard sale for it. Um, this did weigh a couple pounds, but let me see if I can get. All right, this is a Country Pacer is the brand over here. And it has a union tag on it, made in the USA, the IG or ILGWU. This is a wool um, cape. <laughs> and it's a camel color cape. Let's see if I can, I love this. It's, it does not have a size, I will have to measure. This is a fabulous, <laughs> I love it. Um, and it does have the little, I'm not doing this justice, armholes right here. And it has um, pockets right here. So you can stick your hand through there. This is, you know, kind of like a one size jobber. This might not fit me over the bust area, but I think it could definitely fit a large or an extra large. I didn't see any like overt um, moth holes or anything. And it did have a belt but I'm not 100% sure how that works. If you belt it around the cape area, that doesn't seem right. Or maybe from behind your waist and through the holes with you. I don't know. I'll have to look up some pictures. This is like a, I don't know, 60s, 70s kind of look to it. Kind of a swing cape. And the comps were decent on these. I am a sucker for this type of jacket and sometime the right buyer will come along for the jackets that I already have in my closet and in my store. Um, sometimes if you're willing to sit on a piece, the right buyer will come along. I have this really cool vintage like 80s, 90s, Columbia, like the bugaboo sort of line era, era of when it was super popular when I was a kid growing up in North Idaho where it's just a windbreaker pullover that I thought would sell right away. And it has, it. <laughs> but um, I love it. I think it's fabulous. So eventually the right buyer will come along. All right, this is Land's End 18 tall. They do make nice tall sizes. And it is a lined dress that is 98% cotton and 2% stretch with a 100% cotton liner. It is a fun pink colored sleeveless dress, tank dress. That is a real structured pink color. This would have been great for probably Easter with a little cardigan over it. It's a over the knee length and it's a tall, so it does, you know, for someone tall. It has a smocked back. It has the little um, bra strap holders underneath that you can snap shut. And it's just a very structured, substantial piece in this fun pink color. That would be really cute to wear to a um, baby shower. And if you're on, you know, team pink, uh, or to a wedding or something like that. 
All right, this is one of those things I grabbed and didn't check comps. I was, I tried to do due diligence to stay and check comps or really look things over for flaws just to ensure I wasn't coming home with garbage. Um, this is the brand Nellie May established 2011. It's nothing, but it is a cream colored V-neck loose knit top that I may redonate because I, you know me, I will list anything, but that is like, I didn't retail for a ton to begin Gora. So I didn't check comps on this because it was made in Uruguay and it is 50% merino wool, 30% viscose and 20% Angora. No. Anyway, this is a cardigan. It has hook and eye closures down the front. Has a bit of a contrasting tan um, embroidery down the front and this sort of scalloped bottom to it or tulip bottom to it. I didn't see any flaws. It had very light pilling. It's very soft. And so I felt like the comps on that were going to be probably pretty good just based on the fabric content. I don't know about you. I like Uniglo stuff. Some of the stuff feels pretty quality. Some of it doesn't, but I picked up a couple Uniglo pieces this day. This is a size small and it is a I can get the neck to work here. Almost a boat neck, but just sort of a boat neck, striped boxy top. And it is black and off white. I think it could be navy, but I'm pretty sure it's black. And it does have that nautical look to it, but also just sort of a basic nice piece. And it's 100% cotton and it feels substantial. So I did go ahead and grab that. This is Chico size one, which is a medium. This is an older piece, but it's a side zip. Uh, what is it? A hound's tooth pattern, stretch knit pant that's in a straight leg. So just a nice condition, um, a nice pair of pants. They are a poly rayon spandex blend. It is an older tag from Chico's, but overall a nice piece. This is a fun pickup. This is the brand Eloquy, and this is a size 16. Eloquy sort of hit or miss, but I thought these were um, a cool pair of leggings. They are a black legging, and then they have, it's kind of a moto, moto look to it with this faux leather, and this is kind of pleated down here, or um, quilted, and that's on the front, and then the back's just a plain legging, but these feel, like brand new, like they've never been washed. And I do wash most items that I bring home, unless it's something like this that it does feel brand new, or it's new with tags, or it's wool or something, I won't wash it, but I didn't want to wash that because it did seem like it was brand new. All right, this is a vintage Signature Expressions leather vest, and it is just a leather full zip vest. It's super soft, buttery leather. I didn't see any issues with it. It does have a liner to it. It's genuine leather. And I think that this, you know, somebody will rip, that's that right buyer kind of thing. Somebody will come along and want to own that and love it and wear it. I feel like I've heard this brand before, but I have no idea why. It's Allie Miles. It, this is a size 2X. So I found this top in one bin. It is a semi-sheer blouse. It's kind of a crepey feeling. It's got these half sleeves on it. Even though this is, I think, rayon. What are you? Polyester? Poly spandex blend. It has sort of a lagging look to it. It also has like an art to wear. Um, you know, something that somebody is going to pair and just really make an outfit out of. And in this mixed print, um, where am I? Mixed print top. So it does have pockets. And I think that this is something that somebody will be able to wear and enjoy. I did find another same brand in another bin way at the bottom. So bizarre how you find some things because I've never heard of that brand. Um, that was maybe in a smaller size. So it might not have been the same donor. All right. This is Natural Life. I love this brand. They just make fun, like boho, funky stuff. This is, I need to look up exactly what this is, but it's camouflage, which I'm a sucker for. 
It is a jumpsuit, jogger, pant, jumpsuit, kind of loungewear, oversized onesie. <laughs> um, it does have pockets. So I will look up the style just to see exactly what they're calling it. But it was in nice condition and like a jumpsuit romper, uh, like a onesie, I guess, kind of thing. All right, this is Lane Bryant, size 1820. I hate that they use that sizing. I don't hate it, but I, it's hard to list. So some it doesn't fit right into a necessary like category. I think most sizes would be 16, 18, and then 20, 22. Um, so when you're listing it, I sometimes just list under the larger of the two sizes. But this was this retail for $70. They must always run sales because I don't know why that someone would pay $70 for an acrylic sweater, but this is a wide neck. Let's see if I can do it justice here. Almost off shoulder, maroon, burgundy colored sweater. It's super soft. It has this cable sort of knit detail going down the front. And I have kind of stopped buying a lot of Lane Bryant stuff, unless it's a super cute piece or new with tags, because it doesn't tend to and I will pick up almost anything, but that is just really not moving for me for some reason. And it could be the pieces that I've picked up as well. Could be user error. All right, this is the brand Max Edition. I, this is, I can't remember where this is sold, Max Edition. Like Sears maybe or something. Anyway, it's a size large. It's a houndstooth print, kind of longer lined, open. Oh, does it have a button? Oh no, single button jacket and it has these ruched sleeves to it. it has front pockets i just really think this would be cute with a you know crisp black shirt underneath and some jeans and some flats it kind of gives you a little bit more put together without having to wear like a structured suffocating blazer coming from working in a business field where i had to dress up for years and then going into working into a different environment for about six years while I lived in Idaho or eight years, I guess, um, where I could wear whatever I wanted pretty much. Cause I was out working with people in their homes and in the community and just could wear jeans and a t-shirt. Then coming here and working for the state of Tennessee where I had to kind of dress professionally, especially as a manager. Um, I really enjoy my t-shirt and sweatpants look that I get to have every day as being self-employed. And it really feels special when I put on jeans and a <laughs> sweater um like i'm really dressing up anyway i just think that's a cute blazer and um that somebody will enjoy that all right this is the brand philosophy which to me is a nordstrom rack brand maybe this is another what is with me and houndstooth um houndstooth jacket this is a single button jacket and it is a kind of heavy duty um jacket with single button and it does it's a small, uh, have this black and gray houndstooth. This fits into that academia look, dark academia, light academia. Oh, here's that other Allie Miles shirt. Maybe, if I can find the tag, good gravy. So this was a bit of a different, this is a 2X instead of a 3X, but they might measure quite uh, close to the same. This is another kind of lag and look piece to me. And it's a real crepey, lightweight fabric with this oversized dramatic cowl neck. Um, those are three quarter length sleeves. And this is a longer tunic length. Just real breezy, um, comfortable, great layering piece. Definitely lag and look, look to it. Lag and look, I definitely feel like is when you have that cotton or even like a modal blend or tencel or linen for sure. But I definitely think that these pieces can fit into that, especially if you're traveling and wanting to have a lag and look look to, you don't wanna be packing a lot of linen because then you'll have to be uh, steaming the, <laughs> everything in your wardrobe. All right, this is Moo Moo Mellow, which is weird because I'd never heard of the Moo Moo Mellow line until I found a piece a couple times ago. This is a size medium. I definitely grabbed this because it is a star print. It is cream with these red, kind of rusty colored stars, this loose knit sweater, and 
This would be great for the 4th of July, pair it with the pair of navy shorts. I love how I talk about making outfits out of these. And uh, now if it were my size, would I be wearing it? No, because I'd probably be wearing a tank top and shorts. But I really think that's cute. That would be adorable for the 4th of July um, to pair, especially if you're going to go out and watch some fireworks in the evening. It has a little bit of warmth to it so that you have a little bit of coverage in the night. So that is it. That is the first part of this haul. Bless you for staying along with me if you're still listening to me drone on. And I will be bringing in the next part of this haul. Next week, we'll have all the accessories, shoes, and the remaining clothing items that I did pick up this day. Surprisingly, I picked up a lot of purses. Some of them were a few projects. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. And I will see you next Friday at 7 p.m. Take care.